Nomad Sculpt, Color Transparency or Paint in a Transparent Color. Okay, I switched to the Nomad app. Okay, this is a test ob object. Uh, I'm only, uh, I test also, but I show this to you because uh, if you don't know it, you can test it and uh, try other things with it. Um, I got the paint tool on and uh, and now I'm, I brush and uh, I make it transparent. Then you can look this, uh, the outer, um, part is a, a sphere, a inner part is a cube and um, so and uh, when I use the other color for example white I can uh, brush it uh, over or um, uh, okay but the parts are tra real transparent. Okay how to do this? I delete this and I add a a plane and I turn uh, also post processing off um, that uh, post processing is not uh, necessary for this um, okay I'm in the sorry I rotate the view in a correct way um, I think we need um, we need the front view um, I validate this object turn the wireframe on and I subdivide it a few times Let's test it with this resolution. I turn the wireframe off. And um, in the painting settings, uh, when you use the paint tool, in the paint tool, um, you can um, as of now uh, check all the settings what we now have. Um, post processing is off. Uh, PBR, use PBR, uh, and we turn on the outline. Okay. Everything is fine, I think. And in the paint settings, um, we use um, white, pure white, and paint all, and that's pure white. And now when we uh, go in the... Um, uh, in the texture, and we use um, a PNG, you see the PNG is transparent at the moment, and uh, sorry, we have to change in the stroke settings the grab dynamic radius and turn the symmetry off. And now we can bring this object on this, but it's not uh, transparent. That's shit. <laughs> yeah. um, I tested everything and I made it additive opacity, but it's blurry and not it's not working fine. Let's go a step back and um, change it to opaque that you can see it better. And now um, the trick is um, black is transparent. Use um, pure black and paint it all. Now it's not transparent at all, uh, but um, you have to paint it uh, before black when you use a transparent PNG. And now we use this, um, this check texture. And now the trick is again to switch back to pure white. First paint the, the plane or the object in black and then to apply the PNGs, use pure white. And fall off, um, this you can test it, um, but this is um, the flat one works good. Grab dynamic radius, turn symmetry off, and now look what's what's happen, what happens. Um, the grass appears here on this black. Okay, and you can't see through it. And let's make it transparent. Um, use the material plane, additive, turn the opacity all the way up and switch on unlit. Okay. And to test it, if it's really um, um, transparent, 
you can um, turn on the, um, the brush uh, settings, go to the dot again, paint, go to pure black, and then you can paint here a little bit, and, um, oh, we got this texture, um, and we don't need it anymore, this texture, and now you can see, okay, it works, and we add a, a other object, and give it a color, um, oh, and think about uh, the metalness and the roughness when you do this, uh, turn it uh, all the way down, or, um, okay, we use this for this uh, object, and I validate it, and use the mask tool, and you can look through it, you see? And it's a, it's a clearly a, a little bit um, uh, before the box, um, but it works. And you can use it for really cool effects. Um, it works on every uh, object, and I turn on the, the outline is on, and you can. It could go uh, there. It could go better, I think. Um, but it's um, when Stefan improves the app. Um, then there could be better ways, but at the moment it works very fine and it's very useful. And uh, you can bring objects in front of your render inside Nomad and render it with the thing. And you can use it also on 3D objects, not, on, not only on the plane. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.